Japan to lift the ban of foreign stable coins in 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to CryptoTwigs.com, daily news about cryptocurrencies. In this video we're going to talk about the latest news such as this, which is interesting from this point of view, because Japan, which was one of the country who banned all the stable coins, has recently introduced the foreign stable coins such as USDT starting from next year. Hello everyone, so let's talk about this uh, interesting news because Financial Services Agency of Japan will lift the ban of domestic distribution of foreign unissued stable coins starting from 2023. And this is interesting because it comes after uh, Japan's parliament passed a bill in June 2022 to ban the same stable coins. So this latest measure will significantly impact the cryptocurrency services powered in this country and it's important to know that none of the, of the 31 Japanese exchanges currently offer the stable coins so firms like Bitflyer or Coincheck none of them uh, trades currently stable coins in their exchanges in fact, we can see that Bitflyer, which is one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in Japan, uh, just trades a total of five cryptocurrency at the time of writing. Of course, this is the latest news so by today. So Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash, XRP and Stellar. So I think it's important to to, to talk about this news because this uh, latest opening from uh, a strictly regulators such as the Japan's one are important for the ecosystem for a more global adoption of cryptocurrencies. This news is about uh, Bitcoin which worth hundreds of million dollars keeps outflowing from exchanges. So today uh, an equivalent of 43.1 million of bitcoin was uh, was registered a net outflow of this amount in the past 24 hours we can see glass nodes who uh, daily on change exchange flow reports which says that today there is a net flow 43.1 million uh, dollars of bitcoins from um, from exchanges and and that's the news because it's uh, it's keep it's keep falling the amount of bitcoin uh, of uh, which are currently trading no because today people and the big whales are looking for a more stable Sorts, um, sorts of income in the crypto in the crypto market. The more stable ones are, of course, stable coins, and we can see that consistently positive net inflow stable coins, represented by USDT, for instance, are uh, registering. Uh, they are keeping increasing the interest on these stable coins. Volumes of buyers are registering. Um, we can see, especially from this chart, in which I compared the um, dominance of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other altcoins. I compare with dominance of the two most important stable coins. TradingView, of course, doesn't have uh, Binance BUSD stablecoin, so I couldn't add it, but I am pretty sure the result would have been even more significant. 
So this chart is pretty easy to understand because the lower it goes, the higher the dominance of stable coins is. So it's pretty clear the trend, which is uh, which is uh, keep keep going since uh, 20, basically since 20, yeah, s since one year, basically 2021, because yeah, during COVID time there was a huge bullish. Uh, everyone were keep buying altcoins, meme coins, of course Ethereum, Bitcoin and much more. But in the last years we can see clearly that the dominance of these uh, high risk assets in the crypto space dropped from around 30% to 5% which is the current value. So it's a huge drop and a uh, spike of interest on stable coins. And that's the reason why we are registering net outflow, daily net outflow of millions from Bitcoins, but even from other, uh, other crypto assets in favor of stable coins such as Tether. We can see, yes, net, in, um, net outflow from Bitcoin, 43 million dollars minus and plus uh, 57 million dollars inflow in USDT. So this is really, really significant. Crypto exchange OKX releases the second proof of reserves one month after the first one so uh, this exchange uh, is keep registering is keep releasing proof of reserve on monthly basis and uh, this is interesting this is important even for the credibility of uh, exchanges that they can uh, release uh, on a monthly basis at least but regularly proof of reserves uh, which, which can attest at least uh, the reserves assets in their balance. <coughs> we can see in fact that there is a new feature even that allows users to view reverse ratios for new and historical data and self-verifying on-chain assets. And this uh, latest proof of reserve indicates that OKX has 101% Bitcoin collateralization, of course, so Ether 100, um, 103% 101% of Tether. So in this case, yes, the purpose is to help promote transparency, establish trust between users, cryptocurrency exchange after the collapse of FTX. This news come, came a few days later, the SEC, which warned, SEC news which warned the investors to be very wary about relying on these um, crypto proof for reserves because there is, we, we actually don't have sufficient data to prove that these reserves meet all liabilities of uh, <coughs> exchanges. Uh, we can see this news which was published in Cointelegraph a few days ago which SEC says this that investors should not take should not place too much confidence in these uh, proof of reserves uh, lack of sufficient information that for instance yes the Binance proof of reserve was the most important uh, event that uh, came a, a few weeks ago that show that the didn't address effectiveness of in, internal financial controls nor express an opinion or assurance conclusion nor does vouch for the number so it's important to know that we can't be sure that it's 100 uh, percent this proof of research that shows that these exchanges are safe on bracket safe but at least it's something uh, it's better than nothing of course we can we have to we have to be we have to be careful no matter what they show want to leave you with cardano uh, creator 
Charles Hoskinson, which says it's particularly bullish on NFTs development. He says that NFTs are useful for anything that you have a collection or is connected to something beyond the standardization. Special powers you accumulate, all the reward that you accumulate, all these things can should be tokenized at some level. So it's particularly bullish on this, on the mass adoption NFTs in many um, many sectors such as metaverse, game fi, collections and, and much and much more. And in particular, I want to point out this, which I found interesting that a uh, particular uh, usage of NFTs is on brands, uh, is related to how brands, influencers connect with their audience. So perhaps starting with, with video sharing platform TikTok. So tokenization brands is becoming increasingly more transparent especially in a world where influencer TikTok people are going to be the first wave to tokenize their brand. So it says that uh, this technology will be widely adopted, especially among influencers and TikTokers. We will see. Today, Bitcoin is keep going around uh, $70,000. Uh, we have seen the trend is pretty clear. We don't see so many changes, so many drops during these days because of low volumes. Christmas, uh, Christmas holidays, you know, big investors are on holiday, it doesn't move the markets. Volumes are really, really low. It's pretty clear, we can see. So Bitcoin keep going around uh, Seventy thousand dollars, which is the range. The target I keep saying it can be this area between fourteen dollars, ten thousand dollars. So we will see. Uh, it will be, I mean, another significant significant drop, at least twenty percent. It can even be other minus forty percent in the most bearish scenario. And I want to put out even Solana uh, that reached eleven dollars. So uh, we are we are we keep assisting a big drop in Solana value. So we will see if Solana will will be able to recover from FTX collapse for all what happened. We have seen even many and uh, many big players are going away from Solana network, moving to other networks such as Ethereum, Polygon. So we will see how it will go. That's it for the day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. We will see in a new video. Bye bye.